Good morning, everybody. So, 122 years ago yesterday was the birthday of Harold Beckman, and um, every year at this time we we get to come together to uh, announce what I think is one of the most enjoyable parts of, of my job. Um, it was uh, suggested to me when I began to think about ways that we could recognize the people at Beckman who really have upheld what I think was the vision of Arnold Beckman when he and Ted Brown started talking about uh, creating a place like this. As, um, as amazing as, as the architecture and the building is, I, I think that they realized that it was more than just the bricks and mortar that mattered and that it was uh, all about people first and bringing people together. And I think the building serves a purpose to, to be a magnet to draw us together, but it's really about what happens when we get together that is most important. So when it was suggested to me that why don't we have a way of recognizing the real trailblazers, I thought that was a, a wonderful idea. It happened to be the 150th year of the university and I thought, it made sense to put some dollar figure that associated the 150th year with that and give some discretionary funding to basically serve as an investment to think about how um, those trailblazers could do even more if they had some resources available. So $150 didn't seem like quite the right amount. But I thought 150,000 seemed a little bit better and with the, the kind of people who we knew we would be investing in, that that would make a huge difference, not only for the individual, but more to the point of the Beckman Institute as a whole. Up till now we have had uh, six Vision and Spirit Award winners and I think um, I see some of them in the audience, I suspect they're, they're all around. And um, today, I'm pleased to announce that the sixth is Dina McDonough. Like nobody else, um, Dina has captured my interest with an amazing amount of contagious enthusiasm for the Beckman Institute and everything that it stands for. She and I have had a number of conversations. One of the first ones was, you're not going to throw me out of Beckman, are you? And I said, no, I'm not planning on that. She said, well, good, because if you did, I would scratch and claw with everything I have. This is my happy place. And that was the start of some really great conversations that um, led me to understand why Beckman Institute is really Dina's happy place. And again, it comes back to being able to bring people together. And I think that that's um, one of the hallmarks of why I wanted to recognize Dina as the Vision and Spirit Award winner. She is not only our designer in residence, and you'll see the work that she and Amanda Henderson have done, if you walk through um, the atrium, very early on she described to me a vision of how the atrium could become much more of a place that really was filled with energy and filled with excitement and how it really could become a destination that people wanted to, to come to. And I think that that sparked an interest when Earl Hefley started telling me about, oh, we could um, punch a hole in the wall of the atrium and, and build an exhibit. It seemed perfectly consistent with the kinds of ideas that Dina was suggesting to, to really make Beckman a, a place that people wanted to come to. Dina, not only is a residence, um, a designer in residence here at Beckman, but she's a professor in industrial design and chair of graphic design in the School of Art and Design. And her accomplishments and appointments are a long list, but I would just summarize them by saying 
they truly span the globe. She's really touched people, uh, not only here locally, but I know she has work in, in Australia and um, all over uh, the world. So that's what really, um, I think, says that anybody who knows Dina is going to find her um, uh, intellect and creativity one that they really want to tap into. I think I, I, I already said this idea that she has this amazing passion for Beckman, and I, I would say it's, it's contagious. Um, if you get the opportunity to sit on a committee with Dina, you'll understand that you know, she has an influential voice, but she doesn't come across in a way that makes you feel like, oh, it's her way or nothing. It's uh, really planting seeds, and she's so good at, at doing that. And that's, a, again, a, a reason why I think that, that we have seen some of the transformations that um, have taken place. She is um, really uh, served amazingly well as a member of our executive committee, and now she is um, on the committee to choose the next director. And I know that that committee has done amazing work, and I look forward to seeing where it's going to lead Beckman to in the future. Um, so with all of those words and the uh, replica of the Arnold Beckman bus that's in the director's office, Dina, come up, and I'm really pleased to give this who I am. I just dive through the building, I throw ideas around, and I'm so fortunate to have such an incredible director here and team. So I want you to know, for those of you that don't know me, I live between the gap. I live in the gap. I'm a misfit, and I do believe that misfits of today are the thought leaders of tomorrow. So I am an industrial designer and I'm passionate and I do empathy and when I was asked who should be the recipient of this award without, a heart, without missing a heartbeat, I said of course, Jeff Moore. And then when he told me it was me, I was speechless. And then when I discovered there was money attached. <laughs> I thought I've got something wrong because this doesn't happen to people like me. Um, and so this money is a game changer and this is one small step. It sounds nuanced, but it's huge. The disability design studio that we're going to found on the ground floor, the first floor as you all say, this is the game changer. We are gonna transform people with disabilities from being research subjects to being researchers and contributors of knowledge. And we start that by having a friendly, non-Beckman painted colored walls <laughs> with some groundbreaking, well we have funds to do things and I'm thrilled that we can begin to develop a community of misfits that are truly going to lead the Beckman in many, many innovative ways. Let's forget with convenient samples and let's start working with real people to solve real problems. And I, I can't believe I haven't cried because this is a game changer for me. But the funding is going to reach the very people that are underserved, yet offer us so much. So thank you, friends. I am deeply honored. I was given one task, and I forgot to say it. Um, Arnold Beckman around the corner is wearing a party hat 
and I promised that I would ask you all to take selfies. Shameless promotion of Arnold with his party hat. It's worth seeing, and apparently you can climb up onto him, because I did that earlier. Okay, that's not allowed, don't do that. So, thank you, and we, I believe we have cupcakes. And can I just say, we cannot replace Jeff. It's heartbreaking that he's going. But the changes that he's started are really are an incredible legacy. So thank you, Jeff. Very well done. Those were excellent uh, remarks. Thank you. Um, Dean is correct. All we have to do now is uh, enjoy one another's company over a cupcake and uh, refreshments. So please uh, enjoy and let's celebrate with Dina.